Chairman of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, Mr. Boss Mustafa, says the pilot exercise on the use of rapid diagnostic test kits, RDTs, will be rolling out soon in five tertiary health institutions in Abuja. Mustafa also spoke on the spread of the virus in Nigeria and measures taken for travelers. Next week, the pilot exercise on the use of the rapid diagnostic test kits, RDTs, will be rolled out in five tertiary health institutions in Abuja. The DG Nigeria Center for Disease Control will expand on this. The third stream of NYSE members will resume on the 18th of January, and the PTF is working closely with the management to ensure that participants are tested and protocols are complied with. In Nigeria, we have crossed, unfortunately, the 100,000 mark and now rank second in the number of new cases. The fourth in cumulative cases in Africa and the fifth in cumulative deaths. Last week, Nigeria recorded over 9,000 cases, over 9,000 cases in one week. Realistically, if we estimate the numbers missed, we will be in a much higher region. There is no state in Nigeria that is immune to this pandemic, even if reports are not coming out of such states. The Honorable Minister of Health and the DG Nigerian Center for Disease Control will expand on the statistics during this briefing. It is, however, very instructive to stress that factors that have contributed to rise in numbers from late November 2020 included increased local and international travels, business and activities, reopening of schools without strict compliance with COVID-19 safety measures. The full import of the foregoing is to press further on the need for us all to elevate the level of our vigilance and compliance with the recommended non-pharmaceutical interventions. The current wave of infections is swift and virulent, and we do not know how long it will last. Besides, the facilities available for treatment of critical cases remain very limited, and we do not wish to be overwhelmed. But the indications are in that direction. Your best bet, therefore, is to avoid infections completely. The presidential task force has continued to receive inquiries about the issue of testing before traveling out of Nigeria. For the avoidance of doubts, the protocol in Nigeria requires inbound passengers to test not more than 96 hours before boarding flights to Nigeria. However, for passengers leaving Nigeria, it remains the responsibility of travelers to confirm the requirements of the country of destination and that of the career of choice. The national coordinator will clarify the extant protocol and the policy position. For inbound travelers, a new protocol on pre-boarding has been released and compliance is strictly recommended. The additional requirements for passengers coming from the United Kingdom and South Africa also remain in force.